All right, welcome to this week's Shop My Stash. We're starting fresh because we just did a uh, whole day's worth of declutter the other day because I wanted everything to fit in the whole vicinity of my uh, vanity here because I wanted to free this up for um, so I can eventually get a actual jewelry box and fit my knickknacks and stuff on here. And I think I've officially reached that spot in my life where I just wanted less palettes. I mean, I still have a hundred palettes, so like there's still a variety of stuff I'm gonna be doing eyeshadow wise and stuff on my channel. Plus, I'll still be buying things here and there. I just wanted everything to fit in my vanity. So let me show you the palettes I picked out for this week. I've also only been doing my makeup three to four times um, during the week. So let me show you what I picked out. I picked out only four palettes this week. Yeah. So I picked out the ABH Norvina uh, Volume 4. Look how cute this palette is. And I think it's perfect fit for fall. Look at these colors. Gorgeous. Fit right in here. And we're starting fresh this week. Like I said, because, you know, we went through and did our whole declutter, which you... I'm interrupting the declutter series. It is a three-part process. Interrupting it to do our shop my stash, ladies. Um, so yeah. Also, I love seeing all my setting sprays out. And I love they're all setting up so I can see what is all what and who is all about to be emptied. So that's fun. So yay me. And then next in line is cremated from Jeffree Star. I don't know. We're seeing this pattern a lot. I'm also pulling this out because Glam Light has their Ghost Face palette. And then Jeffree Star is doing an, another palette similar to this, I think. So, this is the perfect fit. So, Ghost Face palette, meet Cremated palette. Very similar vibes. So, pull in this one. Why buy the new Ghost Face when I have the Cremated? Makes sense to me. Money saved. Pull this one out to use. I guess I kind of space them out since I'm only pulling four. Perfect. And we're going to pull out Old Anxiety Helia because she, Angelica, has another club introducing Pharma. I need to clean my desk. I guess I should have done that when I was doing my declutter. Here's the inside of Helia. Try to use some of the shades I don't really touch in here this time. But how can I not use double sided? That is a gorgeous shade in there. I need to try to use Hellfire and Venom. Maybe try to use Goddess some more. Complete. I don't really use those shades. And then I'm gonna pull out Kaleidos Flower Punk. Because look at the shimmers in here. How can you not use those shimmers? I think this is a nice variety of palettes this week. So plenty of content coming. Love it. Those are our palette selection. So let's go into our face base. So uh, let's see here for primers, I do want to pull out the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. I just love this stuff right here. I do want to get the full size when I empty this the mini travel size. And then I think I just kind of want to pull I've been 
loving this uh, Tatcha the liquid soap canvas. So I think I'm gonna pull this too. And then found the Elmas closed this drawer for eating. I have a whole new system here. I'm thinking foundations. I'm gonna pull the Beauty Bender Bounce Skin Tint. And I have the shade Light 2. So I think I'm gonna pull this one. So I'm gonna pull. And then. Move some things here. Let's see here. Pull my favorite foundation. Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Foundation in the shade Nude. This is my perfect matching foundation, this thing right here. So I think that's what we're gonna pull foundation wise. Oh, look at that, I pulled too high end this time. Okay. So concealer, color corrector. I think color corrector, I wanna pull the Ulta Beauty in the shade Yellow. Yellow works great for my under eyes. I've been using the e.l.f. like taking, I think I'm right down here on the e.l.f. for usage. I'll probably end up using this one up first and definitely will be repurchasing. I absolutely love this stuff. This LA Girl is a good one too. Also, this one is really good as well for Makeup Revolution. I like all three of them. Concealer. I haven't used the um, Tarte Shape Tape Glow On for a minute, so let's use this one. This is in shade Sunbeam. And for drugstore, let's go ahead and pull. The Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer, and I have the shade. I said, tell me the shade. Sometimes I make it so hard to tell you what the shades are on these. And I have, I know it's in like a light shade. I'm sure I'll figure, it's in a light shade. That I know. Well, I can't find it. So you're like light one or two. So that one. And then for setting powders, I do want to pull the Laura Mercier Translucent. And then for For finishing powder, let's go ahead and pull out the Heather Beauty Glow Wish Luminous Press Powder in Shade Fair for finishing powder. Perfect. It's working out great. Alright, so now we're into bronzer and blush. So I think for bronzer. For powder bronzer, I'm gonna pull out. We're gonna stick with the Heather Beauty. Um, glowish in the shade medium. I'll pull this one out. And then for a cream bronzer, I'm thinking that I want to pull a Jaclyn Hill shade Nakey cream bronzer. And then for blush, for a uh, blush topper. I want to pull out the Natasha Denona Bloom highlighting blush. So yeah, that looks like here. That's a gorgeous shade. And then for clean, I am doing laundry in the background. I know some of you guys don't like hearing the sounds, but I'm a multitasking tasker. 
let's go with also i am definitely after because you haven't seen my full declutter yet i'm totally loving my new setup by the way which i show you after i do spoiler alert i show you after i finish by doing my whole declutter i show you the whole setup i think i'm gonna pull Let's pull out, because I haven't used this one in a while. Let's pull out the NYX Wonder Stick in the shades. Bright Amber and Fuchsia. I like both these sides. It's an orange and like a bright pink. And then for highlighter, I think for cream highlighter, do a fun highlighter. I don't remember what this one is called. It's the one from the Wings Club collection from Colourpop. It's like a green shift. Pull that. I just kind of use my finger on it and then melt it into the skin. Use that one. And then for highlighter, powder highlight, let's we'll go ahead and pull out the Rock and Roll Beauty, which I don't think it's a thing anymore. The Ozzy Osbourne highlighter, which is just a light highlight. And then I want a gold highlighter. Let's go ahead and pull out the Tarte Rose Gold Glow. So that's my highlight selection. No base palette and only face palette today. These are my extra sponges. I gotta keep them locked up because I got cats. And these are my sponges I use. <laughs> well, again, I got cats. So I don't need a eyeshadow primer, so I'll show you what I got out for eyeshadow primers. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Invisi Pink, which I'll keep out. I didn't use this milk makeup, so I'll put this one back out. But I will pull out the About Face eye primer, so I'll switch that one out. And then I'm using the NYX Brow Glue. But I don't like how hard it makes my brow, so I'll put this one back up. And I will pull out the um, Hard Candy Brow Gel, because I do like this one. I like how nice and soft it makes my brows, but holds them in place. And I'm going to swap out the Too Faced pomade and a pencil. And then I will pull out the Essence Baby Gap Brow Eyebrow Pencil. And I'm still using the Morph Latte uh, Brow Gel. I'm loving how this is making my brows look. So I still have that out. And of course, I'm still using the NYX Glitter Glue. It's perfect. And then I can, because I am finished my um, review for the Revlon Color Stay Extension Air Mascara, which I tell you guys, I do like this. Um, I do like, I don't double dip into the tube. I use one dip for both. Um, uh, <laughs> Replacing the things on my eyes. Oh, Jesus. Why can't I think of what they're called? Mascara. The things on your eyelids, okay? They, they make my eyelids, the little hairs on your eyelids, they make them look nice, okay? They make them look nice. And I use. The mascara primer with it and it looks nice but i'm gonna put it up because i'm still hooked on all oh, your lashes jeez louise they make your lashes look nice this looks so if you see this you want to try it it's good it's a five out of five every once i used it for two weeks straight every once oh shoot Every once in a while, I'll get a little bit of a clump, but it's still nice. My e.l.f. lash roll still has me in a hold, so I'm still using this. But I do want to trade on my uh, Tarte. 
So sorry, I want to try um just use my Dior. Mascara. Let me pick up this mascara. Oh, the sponge is up. So there's that. Alright. I can't believe really I can't remember what lashes were called. Jeez Louise. And then I think we're good on our lips. Yeah. So that is my weekly Shop My Stashes week. It's looking beautiful. What did you pick out this week? Thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next one. Bye.